Scotty's Animals, Scott here. We're just finishing up adoption day and I want to kind of clear something up right now. This is the number one mistake that new guinea pig owners make. Now, there's a lot of things to learn when it comes to uh, new guinea pigs and if you're a new guinea pig owner, but by far the biggest mistake that I see guinea pig owners making is cage size okay the first and foremost thing is cages <laughs> let's come over here look at look at this assortment of cages that we have here okay now if you were to go to the pet store uh, some of those pamphlets about guinea pigs say that this is the minimum uh, size for a guinea pig can you imagine living in two square feet for your entire life, especially if you were one foot, that's like a human living in a 12 foot cube for their entire life. It's ridiculous, it's not fair, and it shouldn't take uh, a pet store employee to tell you that that's appropriate or an animal rescue advocate to tell you that it's not appropriate. Common sense should just dictate that the more space the better. So this is what they recommend as the minimum space. Then they also offer this one. But at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, this is the Midwest. This is what we consider the minimum space. And that's it's just that, it's the minimum. This isn't the maximum. The maximum is you go buy a McMansion in the Hollywood Hills and, and you let all your guinea pigs run free. If only we had uh, the resources to spoil our guinea pigs like that, I'm sure we all would. But we recommend the CNC cage setup where you put it together using the grids and the coroplast. But we also recommend the CNC cage, which is what this is. Um, but by far, the number one thing people come into the rescue and they're like surprised that we're advocating for a large cage space. Now, I'm not going to finish this video without saying that guinea pigs need to be eating hay. 80% of their diet should be Timothy hay and they should have access to high quality pellets like Sherwood or Oxbow or the uh, organic pellets that we have at the rescue. But they shouldn't have seeds and they shouldn't have little treats in them. If you want to give your guinea pigs treats, the treats are fresh veggies. We have a nice food list on the LA Guinea Pig Rescue website, and I'll also post it right here. Okay, but it's important that guinea pigs have a proper diet and that they don't live alone. But number one, the number one most heartbreaking thing that I see when people come into the rescue is that they... And I say, well, what kind of cage do you have? And they look around and they point to one of our surrendered cages. And it's not adequate. It's not fair. And um, so I just want to clear the air up and uh, say minimum eight square feet. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Nice, short, and sweet. If you guys have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments. You can always message the LA Guinea Pig Rescue uh, through email, through Facebook, Instagram, any social media. And you can always message me. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. This is a beautiful example of a 2x5 CNC cage. And this is something that you could easily put together for about $40. The grids you can get on Amazon, if you go to my website, Scotty's Animals, I've got a link to uh, a pack of grids just like this for $18. You don't need these connectors, you just zip tie it closed. If you go to guineapigcages.com, they'll tell you how to build it. Hi, Saskia. Hello. <laughs> I was just talking about like one of the big mistakes that guinea pig owners make is cage size. There's a lot of different mistakes, but so often we see people coming in with tiny cages yeah. and they're surprised and then when they see the Midwest yeah I showed I showed that cage but and and then you say well this is our we point to the Midwest and before I can even finish saying that it's the minimum required people say oh it's so big I'm like in the middle of saying well this is our minimum they're like oh it's a mansion yeah you know what though pretty much Scott we're able to explain to people why they need to stay very rare that people leave and don't do the right thing.
Yeah, yeah, most people realize. Because if you say, can you imagine living your life in, in the tiniest space, then people sort of get it. But and also from a selfish reason, if you want to enjoy your pigs, when they're up on a table like that, look, she's reaching up and yeah, I know. to you. You're interactive, right? Yeah. Case, you're not yeah. Even it's dingy and, and yeah. Yes. And we have all of these pet store cages because we're overflowing. Yes. But and I hate, hate them. but it's better for us to be overflowing than for us to not take in the piggies. We're, yeah, you know, they're not here for we're yeah, and that's another thing is we're doing the best we can. But I just wanted to show this as an example of an amazing cage. So, all right, that's it. And we got a chance to talk to Saskia. <laughs> okay, so that's it. And you don't even have to spend money on these Heidi's. You can, you can use an Amazon box. There's plenty of ways to save money, but where you don't want to save is don't want to skimp out on high quality hay and good food, you know? But where you can save money is by building the cage yourself. The best guinea pig cage is the one you build yourself. And don't get all creative. Don't turn a, a dresser drawer or a bookshelf into a guinea pig cage. It's too much work. And it's unnecessary. These things are light, easy to clean. So don't reinvent the wheel. Spend your time focusing on your guinea pigs, caring and loving your guinea pigs. All right, that's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys.